So I decided to venture out today in spite of the fact that the wind is gusting maybe up to 20, 30 miles an hour. Uh, then it calms down, then it comes back out again. So it's a bit windy out here. I'm standing in the middle of what's supposed to be a riverbed. Um, but there's no water. We had a very strange season here. Not a lot of snow, not a lot of rain. We're already, you know, well into spring. It, the weather's been strange all around North America. I mean, there, Canada, up, you know, Toronto, up around that area, they're getting freezing rain. Freezing rain, snow, it's cold. Uh, here, it's, it got hot, then it got cold. You know, it's 60, 70, somewhere in there during the day, down into the low 30s at night. Wind, sun, it's just back and forth. Very strange, strange time. Literally standing in the middle of, uh, of like, oh, 30, 40 foot wide. But, the, you know, the water's only usually maybe six, eight inches deep, but it's always flowing. Even if it kind of narrows down to a small little section, there's no water. It's very nice, though. It's, uh, it's not a cold wind. It's actually not, it's not that summer wind. You know that summer wind that just bakes your face and dries your lips? It's probably 65 degrees, low 60s. And the wind is, is nice. It's nice. If it's just a little bit lower, I'd say it's perfect because I am not a fan of wind. I never have been, I never will be. I know a lot of people are the same way as I am. I always say you can take, you can take the heat, the cold, the rain, the snow, any one of those elements on their own, you can deal with. But you add wind to any one of those elements and it multiplies it by a factor of ridiculous, right? Wind is the worst thing ever. Interested to see what's going to happen this season in what we here in Arizona call the monsoon season. Happens somewhere in the summertime. Uh, I think it's mid to late summer. And what happens is, I don't know what happens, but because we're up on these high plains, these flat plains up here, it rains so hard. It's not just rain, monsoon, the word monsoon, and it floods. There's flood plains. That's why there's some people who, that live in these flood plains and they have got to be very cautious during the monsoon season. But that it really saturates the ground and, and kind of, but it all comes at one time instead of spreading it out throughout the year. But it, we need the water. We definitely need the water. I've still been working diligently on figuring out my camera, my settings, how I want my, my stuff to look, how I can fight through the challenges that is filming outside where you have sun, really bright sun, and then shade. Okay, it's the same idea as when I get deeper into the forest where you have the bright sun and you have all this beautiful shade but your camera, my camera, can't handle those differences. So I'm, I, try, I gotta try and find like a balance to where it's not like super blown out bright or super dark. So this picture right here is a, is a perfect indication of some of the stuff that I battle when I'm out trying to film in the wild. It's, it's some of the hardest places to shoot with really bright sunlight and really dark shadows. If I get, get myself inside a studio or inside the house or something where I can control the lighting, I can, make the, I can make the video look the way I want it to look. I can make it look good. I can make it look sharp and clear and crisp and all that stuff. But it's because I have full control over the lighting. Out here, where 99% of the videos that I'm making, the short films that I want to make, the things that I want to do, you know, pushing forward into the future is going to be out here. And I've got to figure out a way with the limitations of my equipment to be able to make this work. And make, see, the main thing is, the end result is, I need it to look the way I want it to look, following certain rules, following certain guidelines, bending some rules and bending some guidelines to deliver it the way I want it to look, which is I want it to look like you're standing here with me, looking at this with your eyes. You know, you would be able to see me standing here with sun on the side of my face and shadow on the other. You would be able to look and see me leaning or standing, sitting next to a tree, even though there's these bright sun rays coming through the forest. I want you to hear the sounds. All of this. That's my, that's my vision as a, as a maker of videos. I, you know, some people have a style that's ultra realistic and bright and action, and I like that look. And there's other people who have a style that's ultra flat and cinematic, and I like that look. 
you got to find your own style that you want your videos, your films to look like. And where I'm at right now, what I want it to look like is what, like I said, I see colors. I see colors. They're not totally flat. They're not popping out with ultra saturation. They're realistic. I see, I see so many shades of green from like a really light, almost lime colored green to an ultra dark evergreen and all the greens in between on these different pine trees and some of these other trees. And then the yellows in the, the wispy uh, yellows in this, this brush that's down inside this uh, riverbed. All the, those colors, they're not flat, but they're also not blown out oversaturated like in a video game. Now I've done both types of videos. I've had it do both. So I'm working on trying to be able to reproduce that with my equipment. It's difficult, it's difficult. Battled really hard with Can We Survive? trying to make it look the way that I wanted to make it look. It was definitely a challenge with the equipment. Low end equipment, it's harder to do. Usually the people that shoot outside, video outside, have certain equipment that has a range that can cover these gamuts and I don't have that, but I'm trying to work with what I've got. Cause that's what you gotta do, right? You work with what you got and you make the best thing that you can. So one of the, one of the things that uh, I fight internally with myself all the time is, there's a theory on don't let perfection, I'm gonna, and I'm using the word perfection loosely in my case. Don't let perfection stop you from filming. Don't let, perfection stop you from creativity. Don't let it stop you from just going out and making videos. Go out and creating something that you want to create. I let it stop me every day. I let it stop me every day before I walk out that door to come out like today and film something. The only way that I'm going to get better at this is by creating and filming and making videos and trying to make short, short films, trying to make the things that I want to make. I have to go out and do it and not stop myself before I even leave the door. You know, I, I, I lost over a month because I was so frustrated with, with what I couldn't do with the camera for the Can We Survive videos. I wanted it to be so good and so perfect and it just wasn't. But because Niels had traveled down here and we had committed to doing it, it, we didn't let it stop us at all. We just pushed forward, we filmed, and we did our thing. But afterwards is when I let it kind of get in my head to, it eh, got me down a little bit. But I've got I've to listen to myself. i got to practice what I preach and not let these things stop me from continuing to try. You gotta keep trying and keep trying, keep working, working with the equipment, working with everything you can to try and get the end result that you're looking for. And that's what really drove me to finally get back out and talk to you guys out here in a dry riverbed. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a promise to myself that I'm gonna work as hard as I can to not let some strange notion of perfection stop me from creating, stop me from trying. Because if I do that, I'll never get anything done. I'll never get better. I'll never be able to create. Because just creating, even if that thing doesn't turn out perfect, I at least went out there and I, I was able to unleash the creativity. It's almost like, like it's full and you gotta just let the valve loose and kind of let some of that pressure out. Because it's, it's not good to limit yourself. And I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist in life, but I like to try and do things the right way. I like, I am, I work hard to get the results. If I can't do it naturally, I'll study, I'll learn, I'll practice to get those results. And I can't, for some reason, I just stop because I, I don't know, if I knew what it was, I wouldn't do it. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on not letting myself bottle up the creativity because of lack of perfection. Get out here, do it, work on it, figure it out, 
be creative, keep pushing forward. And that's what I'm gonna try and do. That's, that is exactly what I'm working on. Don't point at the camera. Mm.